You know how we've talked a lot about how I think there's going to be a turning in the world? Eventually, China went through this turning where the old monarchies were simply rotted and broken and corrupt. That doesn't sound familiar, by the way. Anyway, they were broken and rotted and corrupt, had all these rebellions internally, eventually got attacked externally from countries like Britain with the Opium Wars. That's a long way to say China eventually lost its monarchs, got rid of its monarchs. They were ruled by warlords, really. And that, from that, sprouted up the communists and the nationalists. Chiang Kai-shek is a man who ran the nationalists. He wanted a nationalist government for China. We, this is going to come into play for what we're talking about here, we were backing Chiang Kai-shek. Why? Because on the other side, it was the dirty, filthy communists, guys like Mao. Mao wasn't actually in charge of the communists in the beginning. He eventually took over. But those were the competing factions. And they were killing each other, the nationalists and the communists. And we're sending Chiang Kai-shek all kinds of guns and munitions and trying to make sure the communists don't take over China. The communists won. World War II came about. The dirty communists told the nationalists, hey, let's call a truce while we fight the Japanese who were invading. And then the communists brilliantly sat back and let the nationalists fight the Japanese. And then once the nationalists were all beat up, Japan lost the war. Communists go fight the beaten up nationalists and run them off to Taiwan. The nationalists lost. They escaped Taiwan. Now Mao's sitting there in China. His communists have taken over the country of China. They're looking across that strait at their enemies, the nationalists, and they're looking at them in Taiwan. And Mao's saying, dang, I'm going to go get them. I'm going to go finish them off. America said, no, you're not. Remember, at this point in time, we had by far the largest, most powerful navy in the world. And we simply told Mao, no, you're not. Go ahead and stay on the shore. Chiang Kai-shek and the nationalists are going to stay in Taiwan safe from you. Now, I told you all that because I wanted you to understand the depth of China's hatred and resentment for us. There's a history there. We have a history together. This is so much more than just some political rhetoric between this guy or that guy. China despises us for doing what they view as meddling in their affairs. Remember, they were so angry about all that, they sent hundreds of thousands of Chinese soldiers to kill our Marines in Korea, just not very, mo- not, not very much later than all this. That's how angry they were. Now, what are they doing here? Well, oddly, we're going to go to Russia for a great quote, because it's what China's doing to us. But it was Nikita Khrushchev who actually said the quote, We will take America without firing a shot. We do not have to invade the United States. We will bury you from within. Well, that's what's happening to us right now. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.